with adequate hospital care, categorizing the risk of the patients into low risk who could self-isolate at home, slightly more seriously ill patients, and they created mass wards where they could be infected and cared for by teams who were themselves increasingly well protected from the infective agent. And then lastly, recognizing a small cohort. So really, 5% of the patients who got a much more serious illness. And it's these ones who are getting the lower respiratory tract infection, uh, the whiteout of the lungs that you classically see with this ground glass of pacification on CT and, and plain radiograph film. And it's those ones who have these SARS, the, the severe uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome type picture. What's interesting to see is that actually, if anything, it's become probably less dangerous than we had initially thought. Uh, so uh, if you look at the World Health Organization, they're still using overall uh, a figure of around 3% mortality, which is very high and considerably higher than flu, which would be around 0.1, 0.2%. But if you look at the, lo the latest of the last cases in China, when it was well recognized and being treated aggressively, including with anti-viral uh, anti, um, medication, which we'll come to a bit later on, um, th that, that mortality has fallen considerably, and probably 0.6 or 0.7 is a closer figure. So, I mean, that's the positive thing. The other, the other very simple step that China took was very rigorous con uh, contact tracing. So they're able to mobilize their health system, mobilize their resources to make sure that every positive result was rigorously traced. Everyone they met with and every single one of those people was isolated pending uh, the results of whether or not they had in fact contracted the virus. And it was those measures in particular, you know, effective quarantining, closing down um, ex, you know, unusual, um, well, interstate transportation, um, closing down, obviously, the epicenter of the virus, but rigorous contact tracing and concentration in specifically designed and rapidly fashioned hospitals that had amazing effect in China. That's not been mirrored, unfortunately, in other countries.